Me too. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm having a really terrible bang day, though, which I know is not relevant <laughs> to anything. I just noticed it. <laughs> How are you? Uh, not so good. Uh, my uncle passed last night at 1130. Oh, hon. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Thanks. I'm really then, sorry. Thank you. When it rains, it pours. Then I got, uh, then I got a call that my wife had to go to the ER yesterday. Is she okay? got, um, uh, I don't know. She has to go see her oncologist because uh, I think they, her she's got um, thickening of her uterus walls or something like that, and so she's. Uh, it could be cancerous. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh well, you'll. I'll send all the good vibes your way. I'm really Thanks. sorry. Appreciate it. Didn't mean to bring your. Oh uh, no! Day no. Down. I know you're already having a bad day with your bangs, and I don't want to uh, take it anymore. You know what? I, I have no room to complain now. So. Absolutely not. But all the good vibes your way, and I'll take all the shitty bangs I, I can take if it if it helps the situation. So. How far are you walking today? Gorgeous outside. Um, my, I, I'm so lucky to be able to walk my kids to school. It's like seven minutes away. So, oh, <clears throat> nice. A little pop out, too. I wonder where everyone's at. It's late. Oh, there they are. That took entirely too long for me to get logged in. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Good. Huh. You good? I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Oh, your uncle. No, he he passed last night at um, eleven thirty, mm -hmm. and then uh, I was just telling Sarah. Then then my wife had to go to the ER uh, yesterday. Her uterus is uh, uh, the walls are thickened or something like that. So it could. Well, dude, get your butt back to Tucson and take care of her. Hello, everybody. Solemn start to the morning, but I'm glad that Jason's uncle, I'm not glad that he passed, but I'm glad that he's no longer in pain. I've got family members that have died from cancer, and it is a very painful, very painful journey. So, how is everyone's Friday morning? I love all the red. It's a sea of red out there, bed on red. Larry always forgets. Well, actually, not, not always. There are six days in the last five months that Larry has remembered a, a red shirt on Friday. He's oh, forget. he's going to go change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I freaking love it. Shaming works. All right. Red, if you guys don't know, it's remember everyone deployed. Remember everyone deployed, R-E-D. And that's just the my support of it. But the red, another thing for bet on red. So you guys will start seeing there is actually a cool campaign that KWRI is doing out there. You'll see posts across the nation from Keller Williams leadership that they're kind of drawing in talent. So you'll see a lot of that stuff. So bet on red. Look at that. Larry in his red shirt. So bet on red is the uh, the campaign. We're going to start putting that stuff out to you guys to help out. Like, What kind of programs can we run for 17 weeks that will help build more lead generation for you, more client interaction and stuff like that. So. What are you guys working on today that we can help with? I have a question on uh... For veterans, I know President Trump was working on this. I don't know if it got passed, but for VA hospitals, or do all hospitals take veterans now, or is that just for emergency services? No. The reason I'm asking this obscure question is I'm trying to help a veteran buy, buy a place, but he wants to be close to a hospital that can help him. He's disabled.
Anybody I mean, know anything? The VA is the only VA hospital, but any hospital will take a veteran. But if you're looking for the VA, like the no, no cost, I don't know. That's a good question. Okay. I'll just have to do some more research. All right. Yeah. Uh, last, last I checked, if you were active duty military, you had to be seen on base. I okay. don't think that's changed because I haven't heard anything. Uh, mm -hmm. I have TRICARE, so as far as I know, I have to be seen on base. <laughs> okay. So I don't yeah. know. Active duty still has to be seen on base, except uh, yeah. for emergencies. Okay. He's yeah, emergencies are different. Okay. That, I mean, you can always call the VA and just ask them or call TRICARE and ask. Okay. If you go to yeah. Google and just type in the Google uh, TRICARE number, it'll take you directly. That's the best way. Just call them directly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. I will. Yeah, he's a retired um, disabled vet, so. Thanks, guys. Collective data, collective knowledge. I like it. Doesn't the uh, doesn't the VA provide transportation from around town to the VA for veterans? That's a good question. Yeah. Well, what he's looking for, he he can drive, but um, uh, but he he wants to not be too far away. So I'm trying to find him a place. He wants to be out in the countryside, but close enough to get to, you know, services when he needs them. So I'm looking in New Mexico and Arizona, just so anyway. Another fun challenge. <laughs> um, I have a challenge is opportunity. Go ahead, Ms. Mara. I had a question come up yesterday. Um, so a client called saying they were looking for vacant land, three to five acres. They're out west now. Didn't really want anything on it. I didn't want it in a flood zone. So that, and I wanted to pay like $20,000. So there's like two that show up. Um, but so I thought, you know, what other options could I offer? I already upped it to like 25,000 to see if I could get more. Cause you know, stuff down in Rio Rico and you know, a couple hours away are showing up. Um, and then I called a friend that used to be with KW, he works out in Picture Rocks a lot, and he just told me that if they didn't have any utilities, you guys may know this, but I had no idea, to set up septic, electric, and water is like $36,000. Um, and that's just so the setup, it doesn't include the impact. I know that, but I didn't. And then he said, you have to pay the county to give you permission to move in, and that's like $6,400. He called yep. it an impact fee. Impact so, if you've not done vacant land, which I really haven't, I, I just had no idea. I've looked for vacant land for people before. It never worked out, so I've never had to help them with this. So one other thought I had was, what if I found a place that had like a really bad mobile home on it and it already had utilities, maybe that would almost be as cost effective as a title. You guys may, you can tell yeah, me. You're, you're gonna be in the 80 to 100 range in there because people are still thinking their manufactured homes are worth that much money. Yeah, even out in three points, all the way out in three points, stuff with a, it's, you know, $100,000 for an acre of land and, you know, a falling down, falling over mobile on it, that type of thing. The only place I found an opportunity um, was uh, just past three points. There's, I'm trying to think of the name of the street, but there's a little community to the south side of Route 86 out past three points that um, um, I actually had a, a, a neighbor who bought the next door property for $20,000. Um, but it was, you know, uh, obviously had junk on it and all that kind of stuff they were going to have to deal with. Um, but in there is the only place I can think of, even out in Arva Valley and stuff, the land out there is, you know, the last I saw a cheap piece of land was around 10 grand, but it was all the way out at Sendario and, and, uh, and just north of just north of Ajo Way, you know, out in that area, and there was nothing out there, no utilities, all that stuff. Yeah, the two I found was like, you're gonna have to clear the road to the spot. It's like, oh my god, it just seemed like it was really adding up, right? If it's forty thousand to get the utilities and twenty thousand for less, you know. You're yeah, if you're gonna put if you're gonna put a put a mobile or do a build or whatever, you can get a, a decent plot of land somewhere. You're you're a hundred thousand dollars. So okay. I think if I need to tell them sooner than later that this is not maybe a realistic price. 
This is why we do these things. But at least he called me. I've been making my calls. There you go. It's all about starting a conversation. We just got to see where it goes. I also called a realtor back in Missouri where I moved from, and I knew that he owned a lot of uh, property there. He's kind of a slumlord, frankly. <laughs> but I called him. I'm like, hey, what do you think about buying some land in, or a house in, in Tucson? He's like, I could do a winter house there. And he's like, yeah, send me something. So again, kind of out of the blue, just figured I'd throw it out there. <laughs> you never know. I love it. So that was just care calling. We go back to care calling and that's just creating relationships. Pick up the phone, dial your people. Who's afraid of doing that? Yeah, don't lie to me. You know, uh, I got a text message last night that it was kind of odd at first, but thinking about it now, I said, uh, Hey Jennifer, I am a local homeowner in the area and I was just kind of surveying the area and wanted to see if you were available to talk about and then they listed a property that I own in California. And at first I was like, what? Oh, it's an investor. Thinking about it now, it kind of was like a relief. If I was behind in my payments, it would be kind of nice to say, hey, someone might buy my house for me. So I don't know how he got my phone number, <laughs> but just reaching out was kind of nice. Yeah, and that's that's just how many of your friends that we don't even know might be struggling or stuff like that. So regardless of state lines, I got a Facebook message from a friend of mine from high school. I have not talked to probably three times since then. She lives in Canada now, and she's reached out to me. Cause she's, you know, hey, I know you're in real estate. We have some questions. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah, absolutely. But it's just having, you know, having that accessibility. Like, I didn't even know we were friends on Facebook. I didn't even know she moved to Canada. Hell, I didn't even know she had a sister. But all of these oh things God. came up yesterday in the conversation, but it was more of, you know, creating a relationship with her and then, you know, answering some questions, very, you know, vague questions about property management and what the current rates are going for and stuff like that. Like just making sure she wasn't getting taken advantage of. And I was like, no problem, you know. I'll let you know what I know. Every agent is different. And we started talking, I just asked, you know, going into a care call, cause I hadn't talked to her in 15 years. Might as well find out what's changed, what's going on in her life. Just, you know, asking questions, finding out about her. And now I've got an appointment with her mom to sell her house, $600,000 house in the North side. Her sister's thinking about buying another investment property in town once they sell the other one. But it's all just from stopping the conversation about real estate just answering those questions that was it could have been the end of the conversation but then i started asking you know how's things with you what's new what's how's life how are how are how's work going and she's like well i want to get down to the house and visit i haven't been down there in years i was like what's stopping you she's like the border I was like, the border but like, yeah the Can canadian border is closed i live in canada now i was like oh but it's one of those things just I want you guys to get in those conversations. And the only way you can create that mind share of your sphere of influence is to have conversations with them. I, I, I'm going to burst a lot of bubbles right now. Facebook is not good enough. Posting on your social media is not good enough. If you have as many realtor friends as I do, you see the same friggin' post nine thousand times you know how many people i've seen post if you're if your candidate doesn't win and you want to move out of the country and sell your house i could sell your house ha 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 you're so freaking clever and then 900 of the people that did it but again i have overlapping spheres of influence because i'm your friend i see your stuff your sphere of influence may not see it so it's clever but i want to tell you that just starts a conversation that just gives somebody a little a seed that you can plant and then start making a care call. A care call you might ask, what is that? Let's show them, shall we? Who's going to call whom and get a care call for me? Let's make it easy. Somebody can call me. Green the green. Stormy's oh, okay. calling Mara. Oh, okay, Stormy. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi Mara, it's Stormy with Keller Williams. How you doing? Hey, good. What's up? 
What's up? Sorry, I haven't uh, just wanted to make sure I followed up with everyone because of um, everything that's going on. And I just want to keep in contact, see how you see how everything's going with you. Oh, good. We're all all safe and healthy. And we're very grateful. Thanks. How about you? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm very grateful too, Mara. Um, you know, I've been able to uh, work from home. So I haven't lost out on a job. Um, you know, I, I know a few people that got laid off, you know, um, right. because of the industries that, yeah, that they work in. Um, and I even know some people caught COVID, you know? Oh, um, so uh, um, that's mainly what this call is for, is just to check in with you, see how everything is going. And just to show you that, you know, I'm here and I care. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks for the call. Cool, no problem. Is it cool if I follow up with you in a couple more weeks? Yeah, that'd be great. It is nice to connect with people right now since we don't see folks face to face that much. Yeah, absolutely, Mara. Uh, hey, since since you're one of our past clients, we're doing uh, what we're doing right now is we're giving uh, um, pumpkin pies. We're taking pre-orders for pumpkin pies. Can I get you one or two? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, well, one would be plenty. Thank you. All right, cool. I'll call you and I'll uh, we'll let you know when that's ready. Awesome. All right, you take care, Mara. Thanks so much, Stormy. I saw I saw some aha moments just listening to a call. Care calls is very much that you call to show them you care. I happen to know that Stormy and and Anthony were sitting out in front of my office in the bullpen here making their care calls and doing that exact script. We're taking orders for pumpkin pies. Can I get you one or two? Not would you like to have one? Can I get you one or two? Perfect. I'll put you down for two. And as soon as I get those orders in, I'll give you a call. And we can we can decide if we're going to meet up, or I'll tell you where to come pick it up, or I can bring it to you, whatever works best. How many contacts did you guys make, Stormy? Quite a few. This is how you create relationships. You don't all have to buy pumpkin pies. One day in your career, you'll have enough of your marketing funds available to do so, but you do need to pick up the phone. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a ring. Heather Hansen, ring ring. Hello. Hey, Miss Heather, it's Big Dan over Keller Williams, Southern Arizona. Did I catch you at a good time? Um, well, you know, I've got a one-year-old, so. I know, that's why I asked. The last time, <laughs> I'm crazy. I just want to see how things are going. Uh, pretty good. How's the rest of the family doing? Oh, they're all right. Um, just uh, went over my daughter's sleep study with the doctor again yesterday. How'd it go? Normal teenager is what they said. <laughs> is there such a thing as a normal teenager? I don't know. Uh, God, God help us all, right? <laughs> I'll be there soon enough. How's things going for you at work? Oh, pretty good. You know, I just uh, just got my real estate license and just signed up with a pretty good brokerage. I'm pretty excited. That's awesome. Which one did you go with? I went with Keller Williams. I've heard good things about them. I've heard good things. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, what do you guys do to stay busy these days? Um, not too much right now. No? No. Um, we've got some big expenses for our house we own in Albuquerque coming up. So, gotta reel in all the fun spending. <laughs> gotcha. What are you guys going to do with that house? Who knows? Are you renting it out currently? Yeah, we've been renting it for the last five years. Awesome. We've got the same tenants. Very cool. How's that been going for you? I don't love it. Um, no. But it's, no, not really. You know, just every so often something breaks. And I swear that the company they use is just uh, marking everything up exorbitantly. But I don't know. <laughs> Are you guys using a property manager? Yeah. I don't love them either, but they do take good care of my tenants. <laughs> That's good. Well, hey, if, if it was your choice, what would you do with it? I don't know. We've talked about selling it, but my husband still thinks we're going back to Albuquerque in a few years. So yeah. when he retires. There we go. So. Well, it gives a conversation at least to get some prominence. Yep. And I can even get you some information on what the value might look like. What's the address? It's 
7501 Rockwood Road, okay. Southwest Albuquerque. Well, that's awesome. So what are you guys going to do, you know, in the meantime, before he, he retires, what, what kind of fun plans are you going to do here in town? I don't know. We always talk about doing things and we never go out and actually look at anything. Okay. We were in Albuquerque for nine years and there's a lot of stuff we never got around to looking at in New Mexico. <laughs> well, now's the time. I don't know if you checked the weather. It's beautiful outside. Yeah. I and did then, when I let my dogs out. There you go. <laughs> what kind of dogs? Uh, they're Papillon mixes. Oh, those are fun dogs. Energetic. Yes. All right. We can break script. Notice how I took a care call and I found out bits of information that are very helpful to a real estate agent. Did it feel like I was salesy? Did it feel like I was pushing anything? And you got real quiet. You matched her energy and the tempo. You have to match. Because if I were to come at her like this, this the, the way I'm almost always at, I'm going to blow her out of the water. My, the rapport is not going to match. It's going to be completely destroyed. But when I slowed my cadence and tempo and, and did those long pauses, it allowed her to fill the gaps. And I can tell you, I did not know Heather had a rental house in Albuquerque until right now. <laughs> and she gave me the actual real address. I did. Because people have a hard time making shit up on the fly. They really do. <laughs> but then you so notice how it was, hey, I, I can, <laughs> and all it, all it was is I can send you some information about what the value would be. And then I, I let it alone. I went back into the conversation. How's things with you? What are you guys doing to stay busy while you're here? So I found out a couple of things. She's got a one-year-old. She's got a teenager. She's married. They have a house in Albuquerque. Husband's okay. going to retire soon. I could have asked what industry he's in. I'll find that out later in a different call. They got Cavachon mixed puppies, doggies. So I can always ask it. I didn't get their names yet, but I can always ask next call. Hey, how are the pups? And did I not just do a forward call? Family, occupation, recreation, dreams. Care calls are very easy. There's a scripted dialogue to it. How's your family? How's things at work? What are you guys doing to stay busy? Recreation. What are you, what are you into these days? What, are you, what hobbies do you have? Anything. Dreams. What's next? What are you going to do? What do you want to do? What does it look like? You get somebody talking about the house, you can do the same thing. What's the family looking for in a home? Okay. Are you guys going to be working out of the home? Occupation. What do you do to stay, you know, what do you guys do at the house now? What kind of activities? Do you have a fire pit, lounge room, movie room, what, what have you? What changes do you want to make to it? Dreams. You may not like to drive them, but the Ford method is brilliant when it comes to creating rapport. Don't do the RAM method. What's RAM? What are you working on? What do you got going on? How can I help you? Want to sell something? You should sell something right now. Here's the, here's the, the weekly. <laughs> I'm kidding because RAM got is what I'm like. But just ramming and like steamrolling. So yeah. ask questions. Let's give it, let's get another care call. I want another one. Just see if we can pull out some fun information. Who's going to be bold? I'll do it. Let's go. Jacob's going to call. Who's he going to call? Oh, he can call. He can call me. There you go. Jacob's calling Stormy. Hello, Hello. How are you doing, Stormy? Uh, hey, who's this? Uh, this is Jacob, a friend from high school. Remember me? Oh, uh, what's up? What up, Jacob? How you doing these days? Good, man. I I'm glad that you called me, dude. I hadn't seen your phone call in a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. What are you doing these days? How's it going? Um, everything's great, man. You know, just um, working. And, I mean, I cannot complain. Blessed. Uh, what do you do these days? Uh, I work at the bakery downtown. Oh, nice. What? Which bakery? Uh, oh, come on, Jacob. The milk. <laughs> 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 uh, it's the Rainbow Bakery. The Rainbow Bakery in South Carolina. I've never heard of that. I'll have to try it. For sure, man. It's good. It's been there for like a hundred years. <laughs> nice. So, um, so, 
Nothing much. I just wanted to. I was just calling old friends to see how they're doing these days because of COVID and everything. Oh, right on, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know, we're we're good. Thank thank God, we're all right. I'm glad. Well, if you need anything, just give me a call, and can I call you back in a few weeks to see how you're doing? Yeah, for sure. What? Hey, I was gonna ask you, but like, are you still a real estate agent? I am. I been in the business for a couple weeks now oh right on right on so you're all right so like you're a new agent you don't really have that much experience or what what happened what's up with that well i have experience through my family and stuff uh learning a lot from them just trying to build up a clientele right now oh right on right on jacob i remember your um father was a real estate agent and i think your sister too so Okay, yeah, no, yeah, and that's good that you have their back. Yeah. Or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll call you in a few weeks. All right, yeah, that's cool. I'll talk to you in a couple weeks. Bye. Bye. So the one, one thing I want to point on that, guys, is great job. It, it, it felt awkward, but you're, you're working through it. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And awesome for you to jump out of your skin like that and get there, Jacob. Great job. When you're yeah, going for a follow up, don't ask. Can I can I call you in a few weeks? Hey, you know what? We'll keep in touch. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Yeah, I forgot like it. other questions to ask him because like all he said was he's working at the bakery, and I was like, oh shoot, what am I gonna ask him now? How's that going? <laughs> yeah. Hey, good job, Jacob. Especially when you, I like I I kind of called you out and said, oh, you're you only got a couple years or a couple weeks experience, and like. No, nah, my, you know, my family has experience. So you use their exper experience um, for your experience. And I do that today, dude. And I only got three years experience. I'll be like, some will be like, oh, you're still a new agent because you got three years. And I'll be like, well, you know, Mr. Armstrong in the cold apply office, dude's been a real estate agent for like 60 years. And I got 60 years experience. So, and he, he, Mr. Armstrong doesn't even know I do that. Yeah. But another thing, Jacob, it's kind of funny when someone says, oh, you're a new agent. Like, yeah, everybody loves a new agent. We got that new agent smell. Yeah, I'll say that next time because people have been saying that to me all the time lately. Oh, you're just a new agent? You're right. You're welcome. Yeah, you're a new agent. But, you know, uh, there's just 400 other agents with several thousand years of experience in my office. <laughs> Well, whenever I get a question that I don't really know, I just say, well, let me go uh, talk to my team and find that out. I work with an excellent team. That's what you do, brother. I want you to realize everybody has a team. Everybody's got a big Dan in the corner. Even big Dan. I got another Dan I can call. It's not quite as big, but I can call him if I need to. But that's it. There's no such thing as a new agent. It's, it's experiencedly challenged. But you can, I love it. You can turn it around on people. And, and I've, I've heard people use this too. Is You're right. I'm a new agent. Aren't you excited that I get to dedicate all of my effort, energy, and youthful exuberance on handling your real estate transaction? Turn it around. Oh, I like that. Yeah, don't let them punch you in the face with it. You're a new agent. You're absolutely right. Aren't you excited to work with somebody who's going to give all of their attention to you? Oh, oh okay. Mr. and Mrs. Scheller, I completely understand that your concerns with using a new agent. And I can go ahead and get all those concerns wiped out right now. Why would you use me? It's because I'm professional. What does that mean? I know what I know. I know what I don't know and the difference between the two. If I know the answer, I'm going to let you know. And if I don't, I have a team of over 400 agents with over a thousand years of collective real estate experience that I can draw from. So I will get the right answer. So no matter what the situation is, you will always be well informed with the inf information you need to make a well informed decision. Sign right there. Do you think as a new agent, you can script your way into the confidence of saying something like that? Get them to sign the contract and then go outside and change your shorts.
Experience can come from practice. It does not have to come from application. If you don't know how to write a purchase contract, three of you on the call don't, send me one. Act like you're your own buyer, fill out a purchase contract and send it to me as a listing agent. It's called trial by fire. Set yourself on fire. Let's go. That's how we learn. Your experience does not have to come from application. Experts get there because they have 10,000 plus hours of practice before they get to the mastery level. Do the math. How many years is 10,000 hours? Robin, if you do that in your head, I'm going to be impressed. <laughs> right? A little over one year. A little over one year. If you were at it 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 416 days. Most people practice two hours a day maybe an hour a day, 10 years. Yeah, the, the, the thing of it is, if you truly hardcore practice two hours a day and can have somebody to practice with or to record yourself and listen to yourself, that kind of thing, you can do this in 100 hours. Maybe, so maybe even 50. If you want to learn a script, go watch the scripting classes, pause them, write things down, go look at our resource page at 1kwsa.com. We have a ton of scripts listed out there. Take the script, take a piece of note paper, write line one of the script down. Hi, my name is Jacob Durante. I'm a sales representative at Calgary in Southern Arizona. Or hey, it's Jacob D over at Calgary in Southern Arizona. Line one internalize it make sure you can't get it wrong go to the next line write it down just copying it from the script you have and then write it down because what you're doing is you're learning both visually and kinetically because you're writing it and then when you say it aloud you're you're internalizing it auditorily there are three ways people learn hearing seeing and doing Auditory, visual, kinetic. By writing it down in your own words, kinetic. By writing it, you're seeing it visual. By reading it aloud, you're both seeing it visually and hearing it auditorily. It will retain in your brain better. You wanna get better scripts, write them down, practice them to yourself, and then work with others on these calls and do them. If like Jacob, I love you said, I ran out of questions to ask, good. Start with F, ask every F question you possibly can that's open-ended. How's the family? What's new with the family? Has your, you know, where's your family at these days? Family, occupation, recreation, dream. Write down questions to those different letters. That Let way me you go find a pencil stuff. and a paper right now to write that down. And for those of you who have not done it, Ignite comes up on the 24th of November. We will be starting all this, and Ford is one of the first things we talk about. But get a jump on it now. Start calling your people now. If you haven't talked to half the people on your phone in 15 years like me, shame on you. Pick up your phone and make some contacts. I bet they remember you. I bet you guys talk about some good old times. You want to get a jump start in your career? Forever, make some cheerleaders in your contact database. Make a connection with an old friend from Canada. And with that, I wish you the best of Fridays. It is Friday, November 6th, and I Googled it this morning. It is a damn good day to be a real estate agent with Keller Williams. Go out there and do something great. Thank you so much for your time and energy. Remember, Ford, Larry's got something before we sign off. I was just going to say there was an article that came up yesterday on the national news feeds that you know, Keller Williams sets records for the third quarter. Woo! We're, we're, we're going to 
haven't set records forever. Forever. Thanks, Larry. Hey, everybody. This little guy had a birthday yesterday, so now we have a two-year-old. Happy birthday, Ezra. Happy birthday, Ezra. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ezra. He's all, I want to be the center of attention, but not when I want to be the center of attention. Goodbye. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.